Welcome to episode two of Nature Rising. Um, we've already had a small buck and a doe come out this morning. The light was really low, so unable to get any photos. It's still pretty early, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, get some shots um, as the light comes up and more deer enter into the field. Okay, we've had a little bit of everything as far as weather is concerned this morning. We've had some nice sunshine. We've had overcast skies and even a little rain shower. I'm actually using my GoPro as a second set of eyes. I have it facing out behind me, looking out the back window of the blind. And I'm monitoring uh, the activity on my phone. And uh, it just allows me to see if anything's coming. Uh, it's a great little tool to use um, if you have a GoPro. Um, I'd recommend trying it um, even if you're not in the blind and you're out in the woods sitting at a tree or something you could put it behind you and you can monitor what's going on around you and uh, prepare to get that great shot if something happens to come up <laughs> able to get a shot um, and get some footage of a six pointer and I believe it's the same deer that I took pictures of in the first episode of Nature Rising and it looked like he had little mittens on his head and I believe that's the same deer I'm not positive but that's sort of how they develop over the summer they'll start out looking like stubs then they'll kind of just spread out and then next thing you know they have a, a rack of antlers <laughs> Hope you enjoyed today's video, um, episode two of Nature Rising. Again, uh, plan to bring more uh, throughout the summer as the deer continue to develop. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. 
and I really appreciate everyone's support. And until next time, take care.